Chapter 5. Peacekeepers. Yeah, right. As we all know, Korra's great at keeping peace. Welcome home, Avatar. Thanks for starting a war. <laughs> I didn't start a war! Wow. Mako, I want you back on the beat. There's going to be a Southern Water Tribe peace march tonight. I need you there to make sure things don't get out of hand. The people of the South need to see that the Avatar is on their side in the fight against the Northern invaders. Great. That should calm them down. Maybe you should sit this out. You could at least try to seem neutral. I'm not neutral. The North invaded my home. At least she's honest about that. And I am dying for a pedicure. Why was that so cute? What should I be doing? I don't know, Bolin. Figure something out. Find a better girlfriend. Have you ever seen Republic City at night? See, Varric knows what's up. I would love to have a guy's line out with Varric. I bet it would be amazing and also regrettable. He's one of those people you meet and have the best night of your life ever with, and then you never want to talk to them again. Watch me, Pokey. Roll over. No, no, you can't just demonstrate it. That never works. Good. Ugh, classic over-rewarding. <laughs> What's this deal? Is that like his insecurity as a teacher? Command respect. Ooh, oh. interesting. I was wondering if they were going to touch on this, and I'm still not sure if they are, but he has some problems as a teacher. He has an insecurity that comes through in his teaching, weirdly. Does that make sense? I think one of the reasons why Korra is so ready to take off at a moment's notice is because it seems like she's picking up on Tenzin's insecurity about where things are going with their training. So weirdly, when Tenzin was just talking to Milo about commanding respect, it seems like Tenzin's talking to himself. We see our own flaws the clearest in others. Pokey isn't very good at learning. Believe sure, me, blame I know the student. Feeling. How would you like your old dad to teach you how to be a master trainer? Yeah! Interesting. I bet Milo's gonna teach him a thing or two. The Avatar is leading a group of Southerners in a peaceful protest against Chief Unalak, but the Northerners have come out in droves in support of their leader. Get a real job! Get a real job? This is not a job. He looks great as a police officer. I love the costume. Now, I'm not one to complain about Korra, but let me tell you a way that Korra is terrible compared to The Last Airbender, all right? They don't focus on hair enough. I miss the changing hairstyles. Stop! Republic City Police! Oh, so they're firebending. But so who are they? That was some slick driving. I saw a firebender running away from the blast. Yeah. The North might not be responsible for this. False flag. Of course they're responsible. Who else would it be? Be reasonable. That's just what they want you to think. Now that's what I'm talking about. See? It's Bolin! Yeah, he's already famous, no? Like, he's a pro athlete. Let's see if we can get a quick interview. Bolin! How have you been spending your time lately? Well, I took a trip south for the Glacier Spirits Festival, was briefly engaged to a princess. Witnessed a civil war. Was accidentally involved in a civil war. Right. <laughs> but there's nowhere I'd rather be than pro bending night in Republic City. Am I right, people? There you go. Republic City! It's a natural. Bowling for president. Do you miss being in the ring? Well, I definitely don't miss getting hit with things all the time. And the humiliating losing. I mean, that gets pretty old. You know, sometimes I actually cry myself to sleep. <laughs> oh my god. I guess what I miss the most are these fans! They're the greatest fans in the world! He's gotta figure it out. He's gotta down to his system. I definitely get where he's coming from, because sometimes for me, even with YouTube, I just think of all the things I have to do and the tremendous amount of pressure and how everything I say is gonna be heavily scrutinized and I just wanna cry. <laughs> but I don't because I have the best subscribers on YouTube. Shout out to you guys. Look how these people love you, kid. They're eating that cornball spiel right out of your hand. <laughs> cornball spiel. The trick is, whenever I get confused, I just say Republic City or fans, and then everyone cheers. I think I just figured out your true calling. Politics. I called it first. I'm ahead of you on this one, Varric. Sorry. Don't worry. I was a big this contributor guy's everywhere at to once. his election campaign. Him and the other guy got to hedge your bets. <laughs> That's smart. Hello, Mr. President. Sir, the Southern Water Tribe? Just a second. Keep smiling. <sighs> I don't think it's the Republic's place to interfere with internal Water Tribe matters. Unala 
Tuck isn't even the rightful ruler of the Water Tribe. Now, I know that when you're young, it's hard to keep perspective. You're the one who's lost perspective. I'm trying to save my tribe, and you're taking pictures. Wow. Admittedly, the picture thing is not a great look. It's really good shorthand development for, like, a politician who just cares about his image. But in the meeting, he seemed more or less reasonable. You know, he laid out his case. He was very calm. He explained to Korra the complexities. He could have done without the when you're young comment, but he has a backbone. So I'm not ready to write off the president just yet. We'll see how he develops. I'm, I'm kind of interested in his character. I can't believe the president is doing nothing. He, he doesn't even care. I'm sure he cares, but he can't just tell his people to go fight a battle at the South Pole that has nothing to do with them. Uh -oh. How could you take his side? What's with Thought you about and sides? sides. Yeah. Why do you always think I'm working against you? Well, excuse me, officer. Don't let me stand in the way of you writing tickets. I'm just trying to save the world. Well, you wouldn't have to if you didn't keep messing it up. I can't <gasps> talk to you when you're like this. God. <sighs> yeah. You know what I think? Cora doesn't like Mako that much. I think he's doomed to fail. It's really difficult to have these kinds of conversations, obviously, because people have different goals in, the, in these situations. Mako is trying to point something out that Korra's missing. He sees that as supporting Korra. He's trying to, like, level her out and give her things he feels she's not thinking about in order to bring her back to kind of a neutral where she can evaluate the situation more clearly. But for Korra, it's not really about the facts. She's just dealing with extreme emotion and pain and worry. What she's looking for is like comfort rather than information. And so there's an asymmetry in the way they're communicating. The reason I say I don't think she likes him very much is because she's she's primed to destroy whatever he says. Anytime he steps forward, he's gonna get whacked. You're the one who's like this. But as I said before, I think really the, the key to that is not getting emotional yourself. Most people are always on some kind of emotional roller coaster. You give up something when you decide to get on the roller coaster and you're riding this like emotional thing with them. Let them ride it out and then like, you know, just keep your feet on solid ground. I know it's a weird metaphor. Hey, in a hurry? Sorry, I have to talk to Varric. Yeah, me too. Sami hasn't had enough screen time, I think. <laughs> oh, hello. We need those troops now. And my company is about to go under. Idea storm! Get the supplies! You're about to get an inside look at how Varric Global Industries stays at the forefront of imagination innovation. Why do I feel like it's going to be a pyramid scheme? Brain work requires increased circulation. I knew I liked him. Let's do this! Damn, Varric just added a thousand points. Make that ten thousand. Radio for pets! Uh, hand shoes. We don't need the president to go to the south. We just need the troops. And you need to sell some mecha tanks. If you can't make money during a war, you just flat out cannot make money. <laughs> wow. Get those other ideas to research and development. I want prototypes by next week. Especially the radio for pets. That sounds promising. This is a major coup they're doing. They're, they're gonna steal the troops? I wonder what General Iroh is gonna think. Oh man, you should have seen Varric today. That guy is a genius. Uh-huh. He's gonna help Asami sell her mecha tanks to the south, and he came up with this great idea for Korra to get General Iroh to fight Unalak without President Raiko ever even knowing. What? Mako's the only one who has his head on straight right now. It's interesting how Bolin keeps getting taken in by con artists. That seems to be one of his things. I, I know that's related to their background, right? Like, they grew up as orphans, but Bolin just keeps falling for this, this stuff. You are the alpha lemur. He has to sleep on the floor. Aww. Uh -huh. No, Pokey, this is my bed. You sleep on the floor. Can you give him a blanket or something, or a towel? If you don't get me results soon, I'm going to find someone who can. I got a break in the bombing case. You better run that into Beifong right now. You think? Sure, you're gonna be a hero. What makes a rookie beat cop think he can interrupt my meeting with the president? I'm sorry. <laughs> I just, um, I found something out about the bombing. <laughs> we'll give it to Lou and Kong, you moron. Now get out! Sorry, was she busy? I've heard good things about you. Thank you, sir. And you're dating the Avatar, right? Yes, sir. You wouldn't happen to know if they're plotting anything that might compromise the security of Republic City? Ooh, this is a weird situation. You're a man of the law before anything else. Yes, sir. Keep up the good work. Well, he didn't lie. Wait. There's Ooh. something you should know. Wow. I can't say I blame him, really. I mean, at least he has a clean conscience, you know, he's telling the truth. So I decided to come to you directly. I see. And let's say we were to accidentally run into a hostile northern blockade. 
We'd have no choice but to defend ourselves, wouldn't we? I hope you're not planning to take any military action without an order from your commander-in-chief. He went along with that a little bit too easily. The Avatar does not command the military of the Republic. Don't go behind my back again. My hands are officially tied. But you should talk to the Fire Lord. My mother and grandfather have always been good friends to the Avatar. Hmm. So that's Zuko's daughter? Someone must have tipped him off, but I can't figure it out. No one knew about it except for us and Asami. And Mako. Mako? Uh, There's no way Mako would have told. Roll over. Good boy. I knew you could learn to train Pokey. Not just Pokey. I train all the lemurs. Watch. Wow. Talk about power escalation. Lemur bending. Why don't you and Pokey just have fun and play? Thanks, Dad. Come on, Pokey. <laughs> Hope you like lemurs in your house. You ratted me out to the president. You betrayed me and my family. I can't constantly be worrying about keeping you from making another huge mistake. Well, I have a job to do too, only it seems like you're always standing in the way of me getting it done. Well, this is it. This is the end of their relationship. Maybe there's no room for our relationship. Right. That's pretty clear. It's already gonna happen though, it wasn't this. So what? Are you breaking up with me? I guess I am. Yeah, but you know what though? Cora already broke up with them. Not officially, and she didn't even know what she was doing, but she just, she doesn't like him. She's basically dooming him to fail. Sometimes we have a tendency to think about relationships and breakups as having a winner, right? Like who won the breakup? I think short term in these situations when you have a breakup, you weigh things based on the, the circumstance. Like I lost my partner or I wish we were still together or, or things like that. But long term, the way you evaluate it is you look at yourself and think about how you acted. And I think the way to move on later with no regrets is to just act honorably. I think you can put up with a lot of really terrible circumstances if your conscience is clear. Clear. If you can think of yourself in a way where you are who you want to be, then I think the things that are out of your control, the negative events that seem to happen around you are more tolerable because at least you have a solid core you can rest in, you know, like the knowledge of yourself and a knowledge of your own dignity and action. And I think Cora will reflect on that like years later, right? Like she'll think like, oh man, I could have at least been nicer, you know? What the flamio happened here? I broke up with the Avatar. You got <laughs> off easy. You should have seen Air Temple Island after Tenzin broke up with me. Yikes. Jet ski battle, you hell yeah. My I don't even need him. What the hell is that? Whoa. Oh wow, she learned more than I thought she learned. She's okay. It's called Cora. She's fine. That's gonna do it for this episode. Thank you guys so much for Nobody. How did you Here you go, here's some color for you. Now you have a body. Sorry, but with you looking like this, there will be no body. No body. No body. I never would have thrown you away if I had known. No body. We can probably get you a body if you if you need one. Hold on. It'll just be temporary. I don't have enough stuff in this house. I don't live here. He deserves a place just like everyone else. No body. What do you mean? I just gave you a body. I can't end this video without giving a very special shout out to all the new members of the Goodwin Clan on Patreon. Uh, I'm gonna shout you out. A very special shout out to James Berry, Kingsley, Digital Milan, Bunky, Patrick Torres, Joshua Solano, Sam, Ilka Parviainen, Santos Chavez, Gostrobo100, Cody Walters, D-Dub, and Brooke. Thank you so much to everybody who has joined the Goodwin Clan and to all my patrons, I really appreciate it. It honestly goes such a long way in helping these videos come out. Pretty soon, I'm hoping that with this kind of support, I'm gonna be able to get to daily uploads, which is really exciting. Thank you so much to everyone for the support. Day in and day out, I really appreciate it. I look forward to seeing you guys tomorrow.